took my daughter to the hospital because she was molested. And um, the doctors, we got the police involved. The doctors were very nice. They admitted her and um, put her to the female ward where she was undergoing treatments. However, when she was admitted on Wednesday the 19th of um, May, everything was good. Thursday, everything was good. Friday when I did my one o'clock visit, everything was good. Saturday morning, I went to the hospital to give her something to eat. Because what you have prepared, she don't eat it. So I bring it to give it to her. When I gave her the breakfast, she said, Mommy, I feel like I want to come home. I said, Honey, it's the best place for you. And listen, I love you, and I am going to get justice for the situation that you're in. Trust me, Mommy is going to stand up with you. Daddy is going to stand with you and the rest of the family member. She gave me a little attitude and she walked off to the lunch area, so I left. At um, about 10.50, there about, a.m., same Saturday, she called, she sent me a text message. She said, Mommy, you need to come up to the hospital urgently. I said, um, why? She said, Mommy, just come. I said, I need to know why. She said, Mommy, please just come. I said, please give me a heads up so I know what I'm coming into a She said, Mommy, somebody touched me. I said, touch the wear on my vagina. I said, okay, I'm coming. She reported to the nurses. She said, when she was touched, she had a panic attack, so somebody had to call the nurses for her. Then the nurses, they came to ask her what's the matter. But she was assigned to a specific person there at the hospital. And she reported to the person that the person who touched her, she knew who it was. And um, since she knew it was, she went and reported to the, sis the sister that was on duty. However, the case was that he, um, the nurse assistant male, the male nurse assistant who had done it, we get to understand that it's not his first, second, third, fourth, nor fifth time he has done it to patients in the Noel's Home Hospital in Lucy, Hanover. However, I then take the matter to the police in Lucy and um, they are investigating. They assure me that yes, we will do what we are supposed to do and um, they have called us. But um, I took my child from the hospital Saturday night and we have to do everything privately for her. We have to take her private to finish her treatments and um, to get to see some specialists and all that. So um, we try to make it go out there because I told her I will give you justice. You shall get justice and you must get justice for this that had happened. How is it that you went into, the, into a hospital for a situation and in the hospital you gone back into a same situation? The hospital is not safe. It is not safe. She told me, Mommy, if you let me sleep here on Saturday night, she said, Mommy, if you let me sleep here, I will commit suicide. So we had to get on. On Wednesday, May 19th, I was admitted to the Noel Home Lucy Hospital after attempting suicide because I had kept a secret about being molested five years ago. It was given to me and I was not sure of how my parents would react when I told them. So I tried to keep it to myself. After being admitted on the female general ward, where I was placed under supervision of a nurse, I was again molested by a worker there, a male nurse's assistant. I was sleeping when I felt the person rubbing my private part. When I felt this, I shit. And I heard the person saying, calm down. When I realized that it was a male voice, I had a panic attack. By this time, the person had moved. I did not look to see who it was because I did not want to know because I became scared. After turning around while I'm still having a panic attack, another patient who was beside me on another bed saw that I was having a panic attack and called for a nurse. When the nurse came to me, I asked her to get the nurse that was responsible for me. When she arrived, she asked me what had happened and I told her. She asked me if I saw the person and I said no. But I heard the person say something, so she asked if I heard the voice. 
would I be exciting to fight? When all the noises came to me, because they were all trying to figure out what was wrong, I then heard the person coming, asking, what is wrong with her? So I looked up, and I saw the person, because I had identified the voice. I didn't realize who it was. The nurse took me out to her vehicle. And this is where she was asking me questions. Here is where I confessed that I knew who it was. After all of that, I was informed that I was not the first that this had happened to. What I really want is, I know I'm not the first, but I want to be the last. If I'm not the first, why is this person still working at the hospital? If I am not the first, why is it still continuing? I want to be the last. You know, I said to be honest, I believe in a jungle justice. Yeah, when you come on today, something there because there's no getting over it. No care all you get in life, there's no getting over it. Because there's some point in your life when it's going to keep coming on back to you and it's just like you start all over again. So when you hear some people they talk about it, it really traumatizing. The girl not have no get to get over it. No care how whole she gets, remember me tell her. And then she was so traumatized, admit it in the hospital for a relief, for help of some matter. Because it, yes, they will try to help you and counsel you and stuff like that, you know. But it's in your head already and you have the experience of what happened. So it's like, you, 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 we appreciate the, the counseling and all of that, but there's no way you're going to get over it. So tell me now, you're right, you know. Enough more of them money are behind bars. Right now, when you have hard-earned tax money, remember me tell you, God knows. Sometimes when I listen and hear his stupidness, them way are going. Look at all the man they know we kill a 14 year old little girl. Say them a lover. Eh? Right, you know, I not even know how to describe him, you know. Because them well and pan him and what them go to lock him up. The police them need to have a group where we can tell them we mind. Because they need to give the man them the, the man them I don't know why the men them are so wicked nowadays. Look for the man do the woman, like the woman. Eh? And him something there. Me really have to think think about it, I mean, they consider about it so much. What gone wrong? I mean, your teeth you look up in the childhood. You take it away from her. She don't have it again. You take away her little pride. Her little thing where she did have a hope for her life. You just gone with it. You just come like no life not did it again. That's how it is. I've meet up with so many of them, and trust me. You know, I hear the outcome. No for them here, kill themselves, you know. No for these girls who have been through this terrible, terrible experience. Take all them life. Hey, me tell them, I don't even want to know the outcome of what them parents they are going to do with all that like a 14 year old girl, you know, because that past child abuse too. I believe they should give the man to us as women so that we can serve justice. Yeah. I guess I already I have a lighter too. I need to give the man to get from bad to worse. We them need to give the boy them because nothing not happen. I'm tired of 90 attack of Jamaica because I'm sick and tired of it. I might live in America but I watch everything and see everything while going down there. I'm sick and tired of it. Because every time something happens, you run gas station. What become of it? No justice now serve until we start. And for self, I will start doing them and set them up with self. We need some self satisfaction. satisfaction. We now get none. We want to decide ourselves, we want to buy them, we want them. And so we all get justice. Because we never get no justice. Or they all go to plea deal back in and plea guilty. And then they run out of the road one, two, three years. For what? If you molest my next child again, I don't know more. Tired of jumping. Him. Not now happen. Think about this. Think about this. When you lock up them, and they, yeah? And them come out now and cup of ears. What just, how is that justifiable to the child who has been molested? Remember, molestation is a thing that takes you to your grave. That never, that never goes away. Alright? So, <clears throat> after you damage these kids mentally, psychologically, physically, emotionally, you make them even start becoming, becoming paranoid. Based upon them experience. So you tell me what justification you want to see happen with them, boy. I don't see nothing more than shell out. Some seat. That's all I can feel justified by night. Otherwise, I joked him.